Today we're talking about the newest releases from Natasha Denona. She just released a bronze eyeshadow palette, a bronze face palette, and three new lip glosses. So today's video, we're going to take a deep dive and look at these palettes and just chit chat about some of the pros and cons and whether this might be worth you spending your hard earned beauty dollars on this release. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around. We're about to get right into it. So I'm Mona and this is About Face with Mona. This is a channel geared towards everything for the mature woman. Beauty, skincare, lifestyle, you name it, we cover it. Sorry about the little beeps. I have a little uh, support group amongst some of my fellow YouTubers. Love them girls. And we have been chit-chatting about a conversation today. Let's talk about Natasha Denona. We all know that Natasha Denona has a reputation for luxury palettes at high prices and really great formulas. I know that when I'm going to spend my money on a palette, I'd really be thinking of some things. So questions I might be asking myself about this release. One, am I a collector? Personally, I don't collect anybody's brand. I'm not going to buy something just because I collect it, but there are those of you out there who do that. So if it's a new Natasha Denona release, you're going to want to grab it up. But let's just say you're not a collector. What else might you consider about whether or not you want to buy this palette? Can you afford it? First of all, is it in your budget right now? If it's not, definitely don't put yourself out for a new makeup release. You can definitely dupe this look with other more affordable products. So another question to ask yourself, let's just say you can afford it. Is this a color story that you're gonna enjoy? Is this a color story that you're gonna wear? So a lot of times we will buy something because it's the newest and latest release, but it just sits. We never hardly use it. Make sure that the colors that you're picking up are colors that speak to you, that you're most likely to wear and get your money's worth out of. One question that I like to ask myself, is the palette curated in such a way that I feel like this palette is very wearable for me because all of the colors in this palette go nicely together. The color story speaks to me. I know that I can pick and find these colors in other palettes, but there's something about having everything that you need or want in one palette. Where for me, picking up one palette is what I'm most likely to do for a look. Very rarely am I going to have seven palettes out to try to create a look that I want. I want the color that I want all in one place. Let's look at them. Let's look at the shades. So you have similar colors to the Metropolis palette, the Gold palette, and the Sunrise palette. And I've seen these shades in other palettes. I mean, golds are out there. They're pretty prevalent. I'm almost 50, so when I'm looking to buy makeup, I'm looking for something that's fun, but that's wearable too. I'm not looking to create an artistic look with my makeup palettes. I'm looking for makeup that can enhance my appearance that I feel comfortable in, that I know that I can wear and I can use for the everyday and for going out. This palette checks off those boxes for me, so it was definitely worth picking up. For me, I like being able to pick up this palette and create stunning bronze looks. I like the way the palette is formulated. I like this particular style of Natasha Denona. I think it's well priced for her quality, her brand, and the luxury experience that you get using a palette like this. You'll hear my final thoughts on all the products at the end of the video. So what are the deets on this palette? Natasha says that this is 15 new shades packed with Natasha Denona's groundbreaking buttery smooth hydrating eyeshadow formula in entrancing brown and vibrant brown shades which provide maximum color payoff with minimal effort blending seamlessly to achieve vibrant ultra pigmented long lasting looks made with the highest quality pure color pigments dazzling chroma crystals and luminous mineral pearls. It's buttery smooth, hydrating eyeshadow formula, wears beautifully on any skin type and any skin tone. So let's talk about the shades. It's true copper, which is a warm copper. I wanna do my own swatches so that you can see real swatching and you can see what they look like.
on skin straight up. So this is a true copper, warm copper color. This is the color Suntan, which is a warm medium brown. Sundown, which is a medium light yellow brown. This one is Deep Dive, which is a deep brown eggplant. I think this is the color that really adds some originality to this palette. The next color is Rhodium. This is a medium warm purple with silver reflect. Magma, which is a medium dark umber color. The next one is High Degree, which is a red copper. This is probably one of my favorite shades in the palette. I think that is such a beautiful color. Alloy, which is a vibrant bronze with golden reflect. Ridge, which is a medium warm mustard. The next one is True Bronze, which is a foil bronze. has a wet look to it. Gloaming, which is burnt umber with a light bronze reflect. This is another favorite of mine. I think that this one is really pretty. It has a little bit of a pink in it. We're going to go into Palladium. This is a warm pinkish taupe. And I always run out of space, so we're going to go into Bliss, a red-pink with golden-green reflex. A silk, which is a foiled, rich champagne. Look how wet and decadent that is. Each, which is a warm nude. this is the color story. This is the palette that Natasha has curated as her bronze palette. So for the first eye, I'm going to want to use that deep dive and that rhodium. We've all seen bronze looks before. Let's look at how the average everyday woman can use this palette. When I'm creating looks and I'm playing in color, I'm not necessarily looking for that artistry that many people can do. I'm looking for a wearable look that's going to enhance my looks and my appearance without looking overdone that's going to call attention to myself in a way that says look at Mona's makeup. So I think that we have a good transition color in Ridge, in Suntan, in Beach. So I'm going to go into the color Beach which is really a soft matte. I will tell you that these have a lot, a lot of kick up in the pan. Look at Beach. Can you see that kick up? As much kick up as I had in the pan, I'm not having any fallout on my eyes. I'm gonna go in and pack that color Rhodium all over my lid. See how another layer does. I'm going to try it with my finger and see what that does. Okay, you definitely, definitely get more payout on the shade with your finger. And I know right now that this corner is darker than I like it when I was doing my transition color. So I will clean that up after, but for right now, we're just gonna keep going with the colors. I wanna go in the corner with the color Deep Dive. I'm 
gonna try my Essence Smoky Eyes brush for this. I'm gonna pick up the pigment. And I'm gonna pat it into that outer V. And I want to precisely place it just above my crease because if I put it in my crease it's just going to get lost in my hood. So if I was a makeup artist, I would think that an eggplant purple wouldn't go in a bronze palette. But I think it goes very nicely in this palette, actually. I'm going to take that fluffy brush again and I'm going to go into the color suntan. Okay, now I'm going to go into that inner corner. And I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer to kind of clean that area up, brighten it up a little bit. I'm going to go in with my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen. Because I love that little tip. And an applicator for cleaning up my meshes. So now I'm going to take one of the gold colors. Let's go in with the foil color. Go in with a small brush. And I'm going to pick up some of that color bliss. And use that in my inner corner. And I actually rather like that color. So this is a unique look with an all bronze palette. Let's go ahead and line the under eye. I'm going to line that with a deep dive. And then I'm going to line the inner part with the color silk. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to line my eye and then I'm going to apply some lashes and then I'm going to come back. Okay, I am back. We're going to do the other eye. The other eye is going to be more of the typical bronze look. I know the lashes are extreme. I'm doing a, I'm testing a whole bunch of lashes for another video. So every day I've been wearing a different pair. Okay, we're going to go in to deepen up the crease with the color Sun Tan. I'm gonna go all over the lid with the color Beach. Beach is probably one of the lightest mattes in the palette. I'm just gonna blend that. So even though there are only five mattes in this palette, you can get a beautiful all matte look just a simple everyday look. But easy to apply, simple look. So let's deepen it up on the outer V with one of the darker colors. Let's go in with the color Magma. And when I was swatching, this was probably the only one of the mattes that seemed like it was a little bit chalky. See how that translates on the eye? It doesn't. It's blending fine. So this is just a simple, non-complicated look that is still very reminiscent of the bronze theme that Natasha Denona is trying to get across and very wearable at the same time. Believe me, if I can create a look, anybody can create a look. 
You can take any one of these matte shades, sweep it across the lid, add a little shimmer, and have a beautiful look without any effort whatsoever. Because we have all these colors, let's go in with the color True Copper. We're going to deepen up that outer V a little bit with the magma. I'm going to go under and line my eyes with the magma. I'm going to add my liner and add my lashes. Okay, so those are the final looks. Okay, so this is the final look. I took that hair band off. Certainly doesn't do your hair any favors. <laughs> so we definitely have a very bronze look going on. And she did do a release of three glosses as well, which I did pick up. They're very pigmented. Let's see what the deets are on these. It says, an extra pampering lip balm to soothe refresh and reawaken chapped and dry lips enriched with moist and repair active that promotes the collagen delivery into the lips ensuring short and long-term plumping filling and hydration while also improving their elasticity Just checking off my boxes its crystal-like brilliance intensifies the color vibrancy, flooding the lips with super juicy shine. Lips stay moist and protected while looking younger and fuller and perfectly defined. The presence of peppermint oil gives relief with a long-lasting cooling sensation. Emollient esters cushion lips for comfortable eight-hour wear. Packed with the highest quality pure color pigments that drench lips in luminous duochrome color. 3D volumizing technology amplifies lips and gives a supple glossy sheen. High gloss color payoff in one swipe for effortless application. Flexible formula melds with your lips and smooths over texture. So I was very intrigued by these because I have almost non-existent lips and they're wrinkled and they have texture and they're aged. Really nothing impressive. So let's look at the swatches of these. So this is the lightest color of the Lip Boria. The middle color. I'm going to take you in for our close up. And this is the darkest. You do feel the peppermint oil, so there is a slight cooling, there is no stinging, there is no uncomfortable feeling, it is just a little bit minty, and I actually like it. I think this color goes with the bronze look very well, but I also think that I could wear the light one or the dark one. So let's talk about my final thoughts. As far as this palette being worth the money, only you can decide that if you enjoy a higher quality formulation and a very beautiful curated color story, I think that to me, the palette is worth the money. But really, these are stunning and the foiled colors will give you that wet look that I really love. I won't regret purchasing this. I love the looks that I'm gonna be able to create with it. I think it's simply stunning. My final thoughts about the face palette. The face palette is beautiful. It is not a dupe for the tan palette that she has. I think that it is definitely very different. These formulas are unique. However, I think this highlight is stunning. I am anxious to play with these on my eyes and to play with them on my lips, which I have not done yet. If you guys would like a follow up on how this looks on the eyes and lips, let me know. I would not recommend it and I would not repurchase it. It is not flattering on my skin tone. It is not flattering on my skin type. I do believe that it grabbed texture too much. It, to me, this would be a pass, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll like it on my eyes. As far as the lip glosses, I actually really enjoy them. I like the formula. I like the way they feel. 
Disclaimer, I did apply this yesterday when they came in and I do find them to be long wearing and hydrating and moisturizing. They are a little dark probably compared to what I'd normally go to. But as far as a summer bronze look, yes, like them. Hope that this video was beneficial to you and I can't wait to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and live like Mel.